looking like real. They all attract students' attention and bring some real life into your classroom. But how often do you use them? Once or twice a year when Students Book tells you to role play visiting a souvenir shop or a cafe? Maybe there are more opportunities hidden in use of play money in the classroom. Let's see. Money in itself is a cultural element. Pounds, dollars, euros. What do they look like? How can you count them? And what places and people are pictured in them? Just taking the money into our hands provokes students' curiosity and is a basis of the whole chunks of vocabulary talking about money. Let's see some examples. And today my child Vlad oh, will help me shoot the dialects. Practicing vocabulary inside of a role play is a good idea for all levels down to beginners, where with a minimum of grammar structure you can learn and recycle all the vocabulary you need. Yes, I'm talking about shopping game. In reality shops can be anything. Um, clothes shop, toy shop, grocery. So. Uh, here's the example. Toy shop. Hello. Hello. Uh, dog, please. Uh, five pounds. Mm -hmm. Thank you. A dog. Thank you. And the mouse. Ten pounds. Please. Mm -hmm. A mouse, please. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. For higher levels, where diversity is more important, it's a good way of drilling grammatical structures. Hello. Hello. I would like a t-shirt. Hello. Hello. Can I have a t-shirt? Hello. Hello. Give me a t-shirt, please. Or different question structures. What color would you like? Big or small? With what print would you like your t-shirt? Have you got a discount in our shop? Yes, the role of play money here is clearly secondary. But think of a student. Given a role model and a real money to spend, it's more exciting and students won't get lost when the real life situation appears. I have seen some fellow teachers distributing play money instead of points for good behavior, good answers and stuff like that. And I think I see the point in this approach. Students get familiar with money and its cost. All in all, money, fake or not, is a piece of real life world in the artificial English speaking atmosphere of your class. And personally, I think if this opportunity is possible, it cannot be missed. Thank you.